Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a puzzling issue that many developers encounter when using Tesseract for optical character recognition. Our viewer asks, why does Tesseract return an empty page when processing images with minimal text? Let's break down the problem. Our viewer has successfully used Tesseract to detect characters in images filled with text. However, when it comes to images with just a single letter, Tesseract seems to struggle, even though it recognizes the symbol. The question is, why can't it retrieve the bounding box for that symbol? Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's address the issue of Tesseract returning an empty page when processing images with minimal text. First, it's important to understand how Tesseract detects characters and their bounding boxes. In your case, when processing an image with only one letter, Tesseract successfully identifies the symbol but fails to retrieve its bounding box. This can happen due to the way Tesseract interprets small text regions. To troubleshoot this, ensure that the image resolution is high enough. Tesseract performs better with clearer images. You might also want to pre-process the image to enhance its quality before passing it to Tesseract. Additionally, consider adjusting Tesseract's configuration parameters. You can experiment with different page segmentation modes to see if that improves the detection of small text. Finally, if the issue persists, review the Tesseract documentation for any updates or community solutions that might address similar problems with small text detection. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To avoid getting an empty page with Tesseract, use the command with the option PSM9. This setting is particularly useful for images that are structured like the one shown. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped find that solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.